knowledge partner for this event. Of course, this is a, our second collaboration with uh, Heritage Foundation under the leadership of uh, Dr. Gangadharan. For IFEA, we were uh, actively associated and also the team uh, is a part of uh, this activity. As you know, Tata Institute of Social Sciences uh, being, uh, social work professionals, it's a great commitment for the institute to work with the elderly also. So, uh, one of the studies recently which uh, we have carried out was a big eye-opener in the area of services for the elderly. I just uh, briefly tell you that uh, there was an action project which we have started uh, with the title as uh, Mumbai Cares for Its Elderly. So we thought this city, how safe it is for elderly point of view. So as part of that, we have uh, initiated a major survey of all the organizations which are directly or indirectly associated in care of the elderly. For instance, we have included uh, senior citizens groups, associations for retired persons, representatives for old age home, daycare centers, and also there are several uh, organizations indirectly associated like education institutions, hospitals, LICs, and other, you know, bank sector. So, one of the important findings that has emerged in that study was that the service-oriented organizations, like uh, this uh, old age homes, daycare centers, or hospitals, these are all the, uh, you know, as a respondents, they have informed us that it's too luxury for us to come forward and even share our, you know, to be part of the networking process. Because our commitment for the elderly is 24 into 7. Even they are not able to come out of their specified role which they are playing to come and discuss in this type of platforms. So one of the important aspects which we learned from them is that that commitment which they already have towards the services for the elderly, how best they can be eased out of that pressure and how best we can strengthen their activities. This was lingering in the minds during the last uh, eight to 10 years after that survey, that uh, what way we can see that the representatives of these type of uh, you know, organizations, how best we can see that they can come and share their findings and how best we can strengthen their activities. So the, uh, the finding that has emerged was that I was very much interested for uh, associating with this event when Dr. Gangadharan said uh, this international conference on services for the elderly, which is very, very important for a developing country like India. Furthermore, when this is uh, at a very infant stage, when we are working out how best we can have a networking of these organizations, how best we can create uh, some platform for these groups like that. So to that extent, I, I don't know what is my role, whether I can claim as a knowledge partner, whether it is a part of learning process. So, because there is a big voidness in terms of uh, creating that platform and, uh, you know, associating with that. So, we look forward, not only as a knowledge partner, but also to learn from you, because you bring a different perspectives, you bring uh, the tested uh, models of uh, care and uh, uh, various approaches for services. To that extent, I think uh, we will also benefit to take it forward, how best we can also empirically test it out in the field so that it, this, uh, you know, services can be enhanced further and we can broaden the base for them and also so that it's a question of uh, ultimately how best our elderly quality of life can be further enhanced. As uh, Dr. Matthew has just now pointed out, we are dealing with uh, 103 million. So this is a big question which we have to you know, address, and time is running out. The population aging uh, projections clearly shows that uh, we are experiencing almost uh, double the growth rate compared to general population growth. So that means aging is here, and it's uh, very much accelerated, so we have to take it in that sense. And uh, given this background, I am very happy to inform you that uh, Dr. Nidhi Gupta, he is here, most of you are aware of. So we have placed her for, uh, you know, most of uh, full time to carry out to go through the abstracts and to work it out the program schedules and uh, we have a very uh, you know uh, uh, four or five other members uh, i am very happy that uh, 
Professor Asha, can we stand? So she's a, one of our senior professors in Tata Institute. So she's also uh, expressed her desire. Dr. Vibha, uh, where are you? Vibha? Yeah, Vibha is here. The Chitra, Chitra, yes. Dr. Anil, yes. They are all our young team. They are here to take down all the reporting sessions and also working out how best we can see that the knowledge that has come out during the deliberations, we would like to put it in a good, you know, perspectives for it and bring it out a good framework for it. And I was discussing with Dr. Gangadharan how best we can also support to see that the outcome will become more scientific for the future, you know, point of publication like that. So this is one of the important aspects which TISS has taken and we look forward but uh, it is amazing the way in which uh, this, uh, each of the abstracts when we have gone through, they're very scientific. Most of them are very empirically tested and they have a very good methodologically, it has been presented. And I'm sure the quality of the deliberations are going to be very, very important to that extent. So compared to, say for example, when we are talking about 800 papers of IFA, but here the quality of uh, presentations will definitely enrich our own understanding and we look forward. Thank you so much. And uh, it is uh, just the beginning of our association. We would look forward for further, you know, on a continual basis. Thank you.